Welcome, amazing friends. And let me teach you how best to simplify this kind of question each time you see it in Math Olympiad. Remember, this is what we call a radical expression because of this radical science. And you know that to simplify is to reduce something to the lowest form. Okay? So in answering this question, we are going to simplify the inside and also the outside. Now join me as I teach you what to do. So you are going to just begin it with solution. Okay? Now, for this inside, that's when we start with first. You know that six can be splitted to give us, we can write it as root three multiplied by two. We give me this, okay? Then plus, you bring down this all over. For eight, eight has a perfect square. So bring it out, it will be four multiplied. And when you multiply four by two, it gives you back eight. So what do you do again? Now we're going to have, remember, in your radical, we have, if you have root a, b, is the same as root a multiplied by root b. So you can apply it here. You have root 3 multiplied by root 2, then plus root 2 all over. For 4, 4 is a perfect square. So each square root will give us to bring it out. So you're going to have 2. This will remain because it's not perfect. Amazing. Now, when you look at the numerator, you see that you can easily factor out 2. Okay? So we're going to have root 2 be factored out. Use it to divide this. We are going to have root 3. Then use this to divide root 2. We have a 1. I hope you see that. And that is all over 2 root 2. So what do you do again? You can easily cancel this. And when you do that, you are going to have root 3 plus 1 all over 2. Did you see that? Now, we can now say, let's, so we can say, let's take it to this part. So we can say, let y be equal to what we have in the inside. Okay? So we're going to have y is equal to root 3 plus 1 all over 2. I hope you are with me there. Now, what do you do with this? We, are keep, we keep simplifying. So you can now have it. This is over 1. Use this to multiply. So we're going to have 2y is equal to root 3 plus 1. So this is going to give us, this will imply 2y. To remove this, it will become negative 1. Okay? Now let's remove this radical sign. Remember, it's square root. To remove it, you square. So you are going to square this and also square this. I hope you are with me. And that is going to give us, remember your, your binomial formula, okay? Which says that if you have a minus b raised to the power of 2, it is a raised to the power 2, then minus 2ab plus b squared. So this is going to guide us, okay? Applying it here, this becomes our a, and this is our b. So using this formula, we're going to now have, so we have, this gives us 2y, and 2y will be squared, okay? So we have this, minus, multiply this and this, it will give us, Two, negative 2y times 2, so we have this. Then square this b, it gives you 1. Did you see that? And that is equal to, this square, we cancel the square root, we have 3. So for this, what you have there, remember, if you have a, b is raised to power of n, it means that a will be raised to power n, and b will be raised to power n, according to your exponents, okay? So in this case, 2 will be raised to power of 2. And when you raise 2 to the power of 2, it means 2 multiplied 2 times, and that is giving us 4. So we can just write 4, and then raise y to the power of 2. Did you see what we've just gotten? Then minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 3. Now what do you do again? We are going to now have 4y squared is equal to, let's take this to the right side. So if you do this, we are going to have, this is giving us 4y Take this also, we're going to have 3 minus 1. I hope you have seen it. So we are going to now have 4y squared is equal to 4y plus, if you subtract this, it gives you 2. So to get your y squared, divide each one by the coefficient, which is 4. And if you do that, we are going to have 
y squared is equal to this we cancel we have y plus this we cancel we have one half so we have it that our y squared is this now what are we going to do with this i'm going to show you now recall that we said that this inside value which is root six so we have recall which is root six plus root two over root eight we simplified it to give us this, which is root 3 plus 1 over 2, and which we said is equal to y. So when you have recalled this, what do you do? You will now see that the whole value inside is now replaced with y. Did you see that? So we're going to have y will be raised to the power of 9. What we are doing is still simplifying. Now we now want to start simplifying the outside. Okay, so for the outside, we have y to the power of 9. Now, for this 9, just remember this rule of exponent, which says if you have a to the power of n, multiply this, it will give us a to the power of n plus n. When it's multiplying, you add the powers, okay, provided their basis are the same. So for this, we can split it to be, for y raised to the power 9, it can be y to the power of 9 is y squared multiplied by y squared, multiplied by another y, multiplied by this, and multiplied by y to the power of 1. If you add all these powers, it gives you back 9. Now, what do we do with this? Just remember that you have already said that your y squared is this. So we are going to replace it. So it means that y to the power of 9 is y squared is y plus half. So we have y plus half, okay? This is also y plus half. This is y plus half. This one is also y plus half, and then multiply by y. Now let's simplify this. y to the power of nine is equal to, you see this and this are the same, so it's two. So you can write it as, if you have a multiply a, you know it's same as a squared. So we can just have it as one pl y plus half to the power of 2. You can also use any approach you are good at to expand, okay? I want to show you how to use still the binomial formula. So we're going to have multiplied by these two uh, together, okay? So it will also be y plus half to the power of 2, then multiply by y, okay? Now, remember your, your binomial formula, and in that case, we said that for when you have a plus b to the power of 2. It is the same as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. This is your binomial formula. Now, how do we do this? We are going to use it to expand each of these brackets. So for this, we are going to have y to the power of 9 is equal to. Expanding this, we have followed this. We have y squared plus Use 2 to multiply this. So we have y multiplied by half multiplied by 2. It will give us y, okay? Then square your half. It will be 1 quarter. I hope you are with me. That is for this. That means this will also be y squared plus y plus 1 quarter, okay? Then multiply by y. I hope you are seeing how we are simplifying it. So what do you do again? You are going to remember again that each time you see y squared, Remember that you've already made a statement on how to reduce it, which is y plus half. So this is always going to be our guide, okay? So we have y to the power of 9 is equal to y squared. We take the shape of y plus half for this y squared, okay? Then plus this y plus 1 quarter into this will also be y plus half plus this will give us y plus 1 quarter and y. I hope you are seeing it. So we're going to have y to the power of 9 is equal to, simplify the bracket, okay? y plus y will give us 2y plus this plus this is going to give us 3 over 4, okay? And that is, for this, it gives you the same thing. So we have 2y plus 3 over 4 multiplied by y. So what do you do? You still see that these are 2. So you can still use your binomial formula. So it means you have 2y plus 3 over 4 will be raised to the power of 2, okay? So let's still use the binomial formula we've just expressed to expand this. And in that case, we have y to the power of 9 is equal to, use your binomial, so we have 2y will be raised to the power of 2 
plus, use 2 to multiply this. We have 2y multiplied by 3 quarter multiplied by 2. Obeying this, okay? So we're going to have, this will give us, this will cancel. So we're going to have 3y. I hope you are seeing what we're doing. Then you also square this. And when you square 3 over 4, you know that the square will affect the numerator and denominator. So 3 squared will give us uh, 9. And 4 squared will give us 16. I hope you see that. So this is what we have. And remember, we are also multiplying. Please remember this. There is also y attached to it. So whatever thing we have here, we are going to multiply it by y. So we're going to have it also as y to the power of 9 is, this will give us 2 squared is 4, so we have 4y squared plus 3y plus 9 over 16, then all multiplied by y. Remember also that y squared has to be reduced, so let's use the value. In that case, we are going to have y to the power of 9 is 4 into y, work with this, so we have y plus half, replacing this, then plus 3y, okay, plus 9 over 16. All are multiplied by y. So we keep simplifying. So we're going to have y to the power of 9 is, use this to multiply each of the terms. So we have 4y, multiply this, it will give you 2, then plus 3y plus 9 over 16, all are raised multiplied by y. Keep simplifying, we have y to the power of 9 is equal to 4y plus 3y will give us 7y. Then add this together, it will give us a 41. What we have is 2 plus 9 over 16. So if you simplify this, it gives you 41 over 16. And it's multiplied by y. So we multiply this. This we multiply and also multiply. So we have y to the power of 9 is 7y squared plus multiply this you have 41 over 16y. But remember you will still have to remove this y squared. So we have y to the power of 9 is equal to. So remember that we said our y squared is this. Okay, so we have 7 into y plus half plus 41 over 16y. So what do you do again? Keep mod, expand it also. So we have y to the power of 9 is 7y. This we multiply to give us 7 over 2 plus 41 over 16y. So what do you do again? Add these two together. So we have y to the power of 9. We give us 153y all over 16. Then plus 7 over 2. Now, what do you do? Don't be too quick to conclude. You know you are not giving y in the question. But when you look at this, at this point, you have been able to remove all the y squares. Okay? So, but remember that you are not giving y in the question. Just note it. So, what you need to do is to remember what your y means and then replace it to simplify finally. And in that case, remember that we said that our y... We made a statement that our y is equal to, so recall again, that y is root 3 plus 1 all over 2. So in that case, we are going to put this y here. To do that, we are going to now have y to the power of 9 is 153 over 16. Then our y is root 3 plus 1 over 2. Okay? Then plus 7 over 2. So what do you do? Just expand this. So use this to multiply and also this. So we have y to the power of 9 will give us 153 root 3. Then multiply this, it gives you 153. Okay? All over. Use this to multiply. It will give you 32. Then plus 7 over 2. So what do you do? Let's make this to share the same denominator. So in that case, we can multiply. So we can write this as this. So this is 7 over 2. We can multiply this by 16 and this by 16 so that they will have the same denominator. So if you do that, you have y to the power of 9 is equal to 153 root 3 plus 153 all over 32 plus if you multiply this, it's going to give us 112 multiply this it gives you 
32. So you see that the denominators are now the same. So let's add up the numerator. To do that, we are going to now have y to the power of 9 is equal to 153 root 3 plus 153. Then add this also because the denominators are now the same. Amazing. So this is all over 32. So adding up again, we have y to the power of 9 is 153 root 3. Add this, we are going to have, this will give us 265 all over 32. And remember, you said that y is giving us the value inside. So what it means is that for simplifying this expression, our answer is going to give us a uh, this so this becomes our answer and i hope this really helped you a lot remember the the steps we took you can apply it to solve similar question when you see such if this helps you let's know how much in the comments and let's know your thoughts about the class sharing this will help more people that see this as challenging to see how simplified it is subscribe for the more tips you can get and remember to give this tutorial a thumbs up see you in our next class Bye-bye.